Hi there, Habibi here. In this video, I'm going to show you a Unity asset. It is free Unity asset. I call it. Uh, I call it virtual keyboard for Unity for Oculus VR. If you want to develop a VR app, especially for Oculus, you may be. Uh, you someday you will need a virtual keyboard I think and this is free virtual keyboard I made it for free but this is very simple virtual keyboard here you see an, an input field you click it and you will see the virtual keyboard you can type anything spacebar backspace and you can hide it show it again I will put the download download link of this Unity asset on my and the description of this video, and I will show you how to use it. Let me show you my Unity editor. Here is the asset inside this folder Oculus Quest Virtual Keyboard, and take note that this asset requires. Oculus integration. You need to download Oculus integration first from Unity Asset Store, then you can use this uh, virtual keyboard. This is a example scene, and the way to use it is just open up this prefab folder, or just use what I have here. This is the VR rig. And this VR rig has virtual keyboard attached to this center eye anchor. You can attach it here or you can put it outside the VR rig. It is up to you. And when you want to add an input field, for example, this input field, to use the virtual keyboard, you need this. Let me show you the input field that I have here you need the this script VR enabler v, VK enabler script virtual keyboard enabler it is here inside this script folder you just add this script to this input field VR enable then you need to add another component which is event trigger Add an event trigger, then add the pointer down event. Pointer down event you have added, you need to use the input field, drag and drop the input field itself here, and call this function show uh, what is it? No, here, VK enabler show virtual keyboard that's all when you run your scene on your oculus when you click this input field this virtual keyboard will appear and whatever you type you will see the text here inside the input field okay guys thank you for watching this video i hope you like it and see you next time bye bye